It's not that difficult to make money with your camera. You just have to think about outside the box ideas that they're gonna allow you to make money regardless of your niche and regardless of where you live. And in today's video, I bring you way too many ideas that I'm almost for sure you didn't hear about. And towards the end of the video, I'm gonna give you a super bonus tip that is gonna expand your brand awareness and you're gonna be able to be known by more people and you're gonna get more bookings. I do have the script here because I don't wanna forget anything. There is so many ideas I want to tell you today. And the first one would be hosting an Airbnb experience. I don't know if you know about Airbnb, but it's a great place to host your flat or your house. So that means a tourist can go to your town and they can stay in your place for a rate. People do this a lot. And you can do the opposite. You can travel somewhere and instead book in a hotel, I love doing this, I book Airbnb instead because it's cheaper and the places normally are great and you have pictures online. And then also you can host an experience. This means, for instance, I live in London. I could have a portfolio of people in touristic places in London and then put myself a rate and say Laura BC for 200 or 300 per day or whichever rate. She can go with you during your day in London taking pictures of your memories. And people who come to London, they see the experience there in Airbnb and they can book me for the day to take pictures of their experience in London as a tourist. So it doesn't matter where you live, of course it's easier in London because London is very touristic, but you live in a small town, I'm sure you still get some tourists of any kind or maybe in the surroundings. You don't have to stick to your place, maybe you can drive one hour or two hours to the next city and do something like this. And you can cost an experience, be there, do a portfolio and then offer the service so people who go to your town, they may book you for pictures. License your photos to news agencies. This works very similar to stock photography websites, but I'm not gonna talk about the stock photography because I'm gonna put videos below, I do have a few of them, for you to learn about the stock photography. But what you would do is reach out to specific websites, news agency websites, to pitch ideas and stories of your current pictures, pictures you already have, for them to see and maybe they can sell to newspapers or magazines. Because so many news agencies, what they do is receive pictures from photographers to cover stories. So if you pitch one of them and you tell a story, maybe there was a storm, an awful storm in your town and you took pictures of it. So news need pictures of that. So you can send the story of the day of the storm and pictures and you send it over to these news agencies and they may be able to sell it for you and they give you the money. So this works for any pictures you may have. Landscape photography, uh, maybe a sports events. If you go there, maybe you shoot for free. But then you pitch these agencies and they may need photography of that particular event. So this is a great idea as well. License photos to tourism boards or hotels. This is gold because you may have already so many pictures of your travels, landscape photography or emblematic places or monuments of that place. So you just have to pitch the tourism board and show them the pictures in low resolution format, even though they wouldn't dare to steal it because they know how photographers work, and offer them royalties of the pictures for their use. Maybe they don't have good quality pictures of that particular area of their town and they are interested of buying a royalty from your picture. And this is great. And you can do the same with hotels. Maybe you go to a hotel and you take beautiful pictures of the building, even video or even with a drone you have and you can fly it there, of course. You can record, you can take pictures and then with that content, it's for you because you love it, for your portfolio and because you enjoy doing it. But sometimes you send them over, you offer some fee for the royalties and you would be surprised how many people would be like, okay, I actually don't have such a cool picture of my hotel and they would buy it from you. So you don't even have to work more. You just have to take pictures in your hard drives and pitch those tourism boards or hotels. Partner with local tours. This is gonna be easier for people who live in cities or in big touristic places, but you can always travel. You can always travel nearby to be able to partner with these local tour guides. So for instance, I live in London. If I partner with someone like that, for example, a family comes there to the agency and they book a tour to see the Big Ben, the London Eye, and these kind of emblematic places in London. And then if I went to that agency and I introduced myself as a photographer, the agent may offer my services as a photographer. It's like, okay, I can offer you this tour and I have an amazing photographer who is gonna take pictures of your trip for your memories. Chances are that they're gonna do it for sure because everyone that travels love to have memories and pictures of their trip. 
So you can do this anywhere you live. And if it's a very small town, you can go nearby to find places like this because you're gonna get bored because tourists pay for this because everyone wants pictures to post on Instagram as well. Find local events. And it doesn't matter where you live, I'm sure there are so many events going on at the moment, for example, sports. You can shoot in football matches, basketball, baseball, golf, I don't care which sport, but you go there with your camera because you love it and you're gonna take amazing pictures, you're gonna network, you're gonna find the organizer or someone who is close to the organizer and show your pictures and offer your services. And please get paid. Don't offer your services for free, even if you are a beginner, because chances are that they will never pay you if you do this. So maybe charge a little if you are not confident enough in your quality, and that's it. But also, you can check for live music events. I love this as well because I love music. You can go there to take pictures for free, but then find the organizer or the manager of the local and offer your services and show the pictures you took that night. Then private events, weddings, birthday parties, uh, graduations. You can advertise yourself in a website, in a local website, and try to be hired for private events. It doesn't matter, but you get my point. There are so many events at the moment in your area and you can go there to talk to people and network and show the pictures you are taking that day. Assist other photographers in your area. I'm sure you heard about this to practice. If you just took a camera for the first time, full on, go full on with it and do it for free. But if you already have a bit of experience, even if you don't have an amazing quality yet, get paid at least something because this is gonna help you and you deserve it. So what you can do is check wedding photographers in your area, sports photographers, fashion photographers, and help them. And trust me, they need help, mostly for weddings and sports, because they need a second shooter to be able to have more pictures to deliver. And you can get paid for this even if you are a beginner. So this is gonna make you feel more confident as well when you're gonna have to shoot alone. And this is a great idea to start making money even if it's a little. Product photography from home. I do have a full dedicated video about this on my channel, but you can pitch hundreds of brands out there with a free email template I'm gonna put down below because if you are new to my channel, I'm sure you don't have it yet. So take that template, modify it with your own words and start pitching brands. And what I always say on my channel, if you are a beginner, don't pitch huge brands because chances are they're not gonna get back to you. If you cannot improve their photography, don't pitch to them. Be very honest with your level of photography. So if you are a beginner, pitch small brands that they just started because after the lockdowns and this world madness, everyone is starting new websites and selling products online, e-commerce, and they need your help. And so many small brands, they are doing not too good photography or phone photography. So check those on Instagram because it's super easy through Instagram to pitch brands. Find their emails and offer them your services. If you do this 24-7, you're gonna get gigs and you're gonna be able to shoot from the comfort of your home product photography. And this is great. Plus the gear you need to do this is not that expensive. It's super affordable. I have behind my home photography studio and I have videos about this. I'm gonna link them below as well. And it's super affordable to be able to get one light, a backdrop and start making money. With one photo shoot, you already recovered the investment. Real estate agencies. It doesn't matter where you live. I'm sure there are so many real estate agencies out there because they are everywhere and they need you because they need pictures of their properties. So if you don't have a portfolio, what you can do is do a portfolio with your house or maybe a friend's house or someone from your family. So you don't have the excuse because a portfolio is super easy to make and then you can do that kind of work as well. Airbnb ads. We come back to Airbnb. What you can do is check for listings in your area of houses and flats and see which photography they have. Because so many times the host, they put pictures there and the quality is very bad because they do it with a phone or they don't have wide angle lenses. So contact them through Airbnb and tell them that you can help them with the pictures and you can improve their pictures. Be very humble, obviously, and tell them, I do believe I can take very good pictures so you can get more bookings. Always try to play with these words. If they see that they can make more money from your pictures, they're gonna pay you. Charge the fee as you like, charge something, obviously, as much as you like, depending on your level, always be very honest with this, but this is a great way to make money with Airbnb as well. Partner with businesses or individuals for a commission. This is the extra bonus tip I told you about at the beginning of the video, and this is super good to expand your business. And I'm gonna explain you why, and you're gonna love it. 
But basically, maybe you are an introvert or you don't know where to look for clients, but maybe you know people who works in a place like in nightlife, in a hair salon, in a restaurant, in a place where there are a lot of people. And chances are that that person is very used to network with people and they can talk about your business. For example, I'm a portrait photographer and I shoot a lot with music artists. So if I know someone in the nightlife industry, I can say to that person, okay, for every single artist you get me to shoot with, I give you 50 quid. That person, I promise you, is gonna bring me so many photography gigs because the only thing he has to do or she has to do is talk about me to an artist and say, ah, if you need press shots, I know an amazing photographer, obviously, <laughs> that does amazing creative press shots. And for saying that, that artist may come to me, I'm gonna get money, I'm gonna give that person 50 quid, and we are all happy. This is applicable to every single niche. If you get someone to get you gigs, you give them a bit of money, and that person is gonna have motivation to promote you, and you're gonna get more money. And don't forget to have a professional website. Don't even dare to do what I'm telling you and drop an Instagram account. Even cats and dogs and every single animal out there have Instagram accounts. So please be professional because websites nowadays are very cheap and affordable. And this is your business and if you wanna grow and you wanna be professional, you need to have a website. You will be able to present a great portfolio with your personal domain as a photographer. And if you are into a few niches like I am, you're gonna be able to categorize the website so it's organized for the client to see. I always tell you this on my channel, never send a broad portfolio to a specific client. If that specific client wants portrait shots, don't send them the website where you have a lot of niches. Send them the link to portrait photography because people nowadays are very busy and they wanna see everything super clear and super quick. People will tell you more seriously as well if you have a professional email rather than finishing in gmail.com or hotmail.com. Mine finishes in laurabc.com and I think it's way more professional because right away the client can see I have a dedicated website. You can also create your own blog where you can talk about photography or whatever you want and it's gonna give you credibility and it's gonna help you to get clients because if clients are looking for a specific blog post you are posting on your website, they're gonna find your website and they're gonna find your services. Also the same with a shop online like I have. You can sell your online room presets and even your prints. So it's super important to have a website if you wanna be professional about this. I don't mind which platform you decide to go for, but get yourself a website. Don't try to grow with your camera, dropping an Instagram account because that's very cheap nowadays. Because as I told you before, everyone has Instagram. So the one I recommend obviously is the one I have. It's 10 years I've been having photography websites and I've tried many. I'm a web designer myself, I'm a graphic designer, and in the end I went for something that was super easy so you don't need to know anything about graphic design yourself and it's super quick because you can adapt to tablets, to fonts, you have even an app to edit your website on the go when you are in the train. I do this a lot because you can do it through the app and that is Squarespace. I'm not sponsored by Squarespace, I wish one day I will because I really promote them all the time because I love their service. The customer service is amazing, you have so many templates to choose from. So there is templates for everyone out there. And the only thing you have to do is swap the pictures and the text if you have no clue about graphic design. And then they have amazing tutorials for you to learn further and then modify everything you want within the website. I think this is cool nowadays because you don't have to know anything about anything to be able to be professional in the area. You can have your own blog, which is what I do. And you have so many templates from blogs as well to choose from. And having a blog is super beneficial as a photographer. And then you can have the shop, as I said before as well. You can have your own shop, you can sell your prints, you can sell presets, you can sell ebooks, you can sell everything you want. And I think this is super complete as a photographer. And even as a client, if the client sees you have a photography website, super professional, categorized by niches, you have your own shop online for other photographers maybe, like I have, or you have your blog, that's gonna speak by itself rather than having an Instagram with a messed up portfolio and no followers because nowadays it's super hard to grow and this is gonna damage you because unconsciously potential clients gonna check the number of followers you have and even in your photography it's incredible and it's amazing chances are that that person is judging you for the number of likes or the number of followers you have so you have a professional website and you do all these things I told you in this video I'm 100% sure you're gonna get clients 
maybe one idea or two or three don't work for you depending on where you live. But I promise you, many others gonna work and you can start making money with your camera. And there is many more ideas on my channel, so if you didn't yet, subscribe to my channel and like the video because it helps me a lot with the growth of it. And I will see you in the next one. Ciao.